Robbie Coltrane, the beloved actor who brought Hagrid to life in the Harry Potter films, passed away on October 14th at the age of 72. In the recent 20th anniversary special that aired on January 1st this year, Robbie said about his time working on the films, The legacy of the movies is that my children's generation will show them to their children, so you can be watching them in 50 years time easy. I'll not be here, sadly. The Hagrid will. The news of his passing has hit the Wizarding World community hard. Fans even gathered at Universal's Islands of Adventure in Hogsmeade outside the Hogwarts castle to pay tribute to the actor with a very special and solemn Wands Up moment. Hagrid is one of my favorite characters in the books, and Robbie Coltrane is Hagrid in my eyes, and in the eyes of many Harry Potter fans around the world. Rest in peace, Robbie. Your legacy will live on for future generations to come. As Universal's Halloween Horror Nights 2022 is nearing its finale, with Halloween just around the corner, plans are gearing up for the holidays. The holiday celebration at Universal Orlando takes place from November 12th through January 1st. With the price of regular admission, guests can enjoy dazzling decorations and unforgettable entertainment. I'll be covering all the holiday happenings here on the Wandering Wizard channel beginning next month. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the first look at the Universal Holiday Parade featuring Macy's Larger Than Life Balloons, plus appearances by the Minions and DreamWorks characters from Shrek and Madagascar, as well as the Christmas Tribute Store. I'll bring you all the details as soon as they're released. The Mannheim Steamroller will return this year after taking a hiatus during the pandemic. Live performances are scheduled to take place at Universal Studios Florida December 3rd, 4th, 10th, and 11th. Also returning is the Grinch Character Breakfast. Reservations are acquired for the separately ticketed event, happening on select dates from November 12th to December 29th. Adult tickets are $41.99 and $26 for children ages 3 to 9. You'll start your day off at Circus McGurkis with the Grinch and the Hoos and enjoy a breakfast buffet with themed food including non-alcoholic beverages and specialty treats. And they're feast, 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 feast! With the price of your ticket, you also get a digital download photo from one character interaction. I guess I could use a little social interaction. If you got a little bit more money to splurge, you could opt for the Universal Holiday Tour, which is also returning this year. It starts at $79.99, with the price varying by date, and includes an exclusive meet and greet with the Grinch and his dog Max. Reserved seating for the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular, small plates including cookies, who hash, chicken and waffles, popcorn, shrimp, plus non-alcoholic beverages and hot cocoa bar. Am I just eating because I'm bored? All at Circus McGurkis. A meeting with Santa which includes one digital download photo per party, priority access to one attraction, as well as an after-hour showing of the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle. Separate theme park admission is required with either the Grinch character breakfast or the Universal Holiday Tour. If you're looking forward to celebrating Christmas in the Wizarding World like I am, you'll be happy to know that the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle is returning every evening with the special Christmas projection show on the castle from dusk until park close at Islands of Adventure. The shops in Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley will be all decked out for the holidays with lights and festive decor. And you can also enjoy holiday performances by the Frog Choir and Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees. I will of course be bringing all of this to you on the Wandering Wizard channel during the first week of the holiday celebration at Universal Orlando. So as I mentioned before, if you're not subscribed, do it now! Click it! A new report has come out from Screamscape about the battle for the Ministry of Magic ride at the Wizarding World themed land at Epic Universe. It's scheduled to open in 2025. Of course, none of this has been officially verified by Universal, but it's very likely that we can expect to enter the attraction through a public flu network station, a giant room full of fireplaces that transport you back to the British Ministry of Magic. Even though the land will be themed to the French Wizarding World, specifically the fancier French version of Diagon Alley called Place Cachet or Hidden Place. 
Once inside the British Ministry, guests will catch the end of the trial of Dolores Umbridge, who's about to be sentenced to serve a life sentence in Azkaban prison for her crimes. Death Eaters arrive on the scene to free Umbridge, and our favorite trio, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, arrive to battle their evil plan to travel back in time to bring Voldemort back. If you want to read the full article from Screamscape, I'll leave a link down below. Thank you for watching the Owl Report. I'm JJ the Wandering Wizard and I'll see you next time. Bye!